Let's get started talking about the top elementary algebra concepts you'll see on the math ACT. We're going to talk about substituting the variable, simplifying equations, solving linear equations, and inequalities. And if you're thinking, oh my gosh, that sounds really overwhelming, don't worry, we're going to break it down. Let's start talking about substituting the variables. These questions give you an algebraic equation and then just the value of a variable within, and you're going to plug it in. These are really straightforward. Let's look at this one. It looks complicated when you first look at it, but take a close look. When x plus y is 3, what is the value of 2 times parentheses x plus y plus x plus y over 3 minus parentheses x plus y to the fourth? So again, looks horrible, but what do we know here? We know x plus y is equal to 3. And now this is a case where you would just plug that in wherever you see x plus y. So it turns into a really straightforward problem. We have 2 times 3, right, x plus y, plus 3 over 3, or just 1, minus 3 to the fourth. Okay, great. So just to simplify, this is 6 plus 1 minus 81. Okay, and that is equal to, let's say, 7 minus 81, or negative 74. And we've got it. So it wasn't that bad after all. And answer choice A would be correct. Let's keep going. Let's take a look at simplifying equations. So x squared minus 4x plus 9 in parentheses. And then in another parenthesis, we have 3x squared minus 2x minus 6. It looks kind of complicated and you're thinking, oh my gosh, is there multiplication going on? What's up with the parentheses? But if you take a close look, all you're doing is subtracting. So these question types are just testing, can you combine expressions? Things you'll remember from algebra, you know, in, in school, uh, combining like terms. So let's go ahead and get started with this problem. So we're gonna get rid of the parentheses. x squared minus 4x plus 9. And now the next part. Students often mess up on this, so keep an eye out. You want to distribute your negative. It is so important. It needs to go to every one of your terms because your parentheses means that it's got to travel to every one of the parts. So minus 3x squared plus 2x, because we've got two negatives there. So plus 2x, and then also plus 6. Great. And now, this is looking pretty straightforward, right? And now you know you just have to combine like terms, which you probably remember doing, you know, from class. So we've got x squared minus 3x squared. Okay, just negative 2x squared. So let's cross these out. This becomes negative 2x squared. Next, you've got your negative 4x plus 2x. So negative 4x plus 2x, just negative 2x. And we can cross these out too. Okay, last, 9 plus 6, just 15. And we've got it. We've just simplified these expressions. Perfect. So which of these answer choices matches this? We need negative 2x squared minus 2x plus 15. And C is the correct answer choice here. Let's move on.